growing in your body, but it is. So when there's moments where your prescription either lapses or there's no insurance all of a sudden or your insurance cuts you off or your body just starts to fight back because it needs to try to it needs to wake back up it cannot be suppressed forever your immune system cannot be asleep forever then this is when you start seeing the pus balls again but it's because your body needs to have all that stuff come out of your body it cannot sit in your body it, it's making you sick and a lot of people don't understand that so it's crazy to me that I'll put all these facts in there. Um, and a lot of the people will just kind of look at it and then they'll overlook it and go on to the next. And that's fine. You know what I mean? Sometimes we don't want to hear. We don't want to read it. We just, again, we want we want that shortcut. We want those results quick. And if they have to be in the form of a pill or in the form of an injection, I guess, take it, right? But these are going to be the same people that are still going to be sick in five years. And hopefully if they make it to 10 years. But my son was really bad. He was already at HS3 by age 11. My son wasn't going to make it to 30. There was no way in hell. This disease was taking his life. And it was taking it fast. And I see so many children out there that have similar symptoms as my son. And so when I reach out to these parents and they're like, well, you know, my dermatologist said this. Oh, the doctor said that. I'm like, hey, you know what? I'm going to present you with what I know. You and if you choose to go the route that you want to go, that that is your option. Do I feel really bad for these kids? Heck yeah. Because it's like, man, you know, I'm, I'm trying to save your kid from a freaking pain that they're about to go through. A lot of pain that they're about to go through. Discomfort that they're going to go through. All because... I don't know. All because we need to go with what a doctor said, right? The, the natural way isn't... We don't want to know about the natural way. I don't want to know about me having to actually change my diet around. I'd rather just pop my son a pill or pop my daughter a pill and, and call it a day. And that's sad because had I known about eating differently would have saved my son the past three, four years of torture, I would have totally taken it. And then I see, I think back when I first started my research, I started thinking back about the information that I read where there was that lawsuit and people were upset because they said they had stated that when they were doing the clinical those trials those tr uh, clinical trials there you go clinical trials they were saying well we weren't um you know we, we were offered free surgery free weight loss surgery and so we took it and they said but that weight loss surgery didn't do anything to their hs you know after it started to reoccur it came back you know because usually when you when people do like um lap band or um like major surgeries that help with you know decreasing or suppressing your appetite you know a lot of us jump on that health bandwagon for a while you know but then after a while we start becoming flexible we start becoming oh well, i'm gonna make an exception and those exceptions become like multiple exceptions so then you start to steadily state you know gain your weight back after these uh weight loss surgeries and so what with those changes what happens you start getting back your previous symptoms because you're no longer living that adjusted or monitored health lifestyle and so in this clinical trial, people were upset and so they tried to do like a, a countersuit against the people who offered the free uh, the free um, weight loss surgery because they were like, well, had we known that if weight, uh, if eating right was going to be the, the best option to make sure that we don't get this, these type of HS symptoms, we would have went with that. And so when I read it, at the, when I read it the first time. I was like, yeah, well, that's right. You know, I, I would be right there with them. I'll be upset. But they came back with saying, well, no, you know, you were presented with both options. You chose the you chose the free option. You chose to go with the free surgery. And um, so that lawsuit was just thrown out the was was dismissed. It was thrown out the door because it's like, yeah, you know what? You were offered both, but you chose to go the the quick 
free route. And so here you are again, still sick. It didn't really do anything, you know? And so now I see it, you know, when I go out there and I reach out to parents and other individuals and I'm like, hey, you know, look at my son's before and after pictures. Let me help you with what's going on with your situation. They're like, no, no, you know, I, I, I'll rather just take my son so we can get on a pill. I'm like, man, we're so, over time, we're so trained on everything. A solution is through a pill, through a liquid that we no longer even think about just natural healing, which is removing processed foods and drinks from our everyday consumption in order to heal ourselves. But, and it's sad because these are going to be the same people that are going to have children that get older and they're going to be in a, a more worse situation than they what they were now. They will already have experienced, you know, surgeries that could have been avoided just by making these small changes now. And that sucks because... I can't do anything about it. I can just be the person who sees it and be sad for those children. So I know that I, I, I had like, a, I'm working with a lot of youngsters now, which is awesome. And so when I look at the, before I, I didn't never see like people post, like when you go to their profiles after they friend request you and they want to like, Hey, can I keep in touch? Because man, this is like, you know, showing so much progress. I'm like, yeah, yeah. You know, you can friend request me. And if you have questions, you know, I'll be there for you and whatnot. And when you see their profile in the beginning or when I see it, you know, I don't see any type of picture updates and stuff like that. Because, of course, you're in a mental state where it's like you're not happy with your body. And then all of a sudden you just see like all these selfies and all these self-love um I don't know, when you take screenshots of quotes and stuff like that. And I'm like, wow, that's awesome, you know, because we, these girls and, and these guys are are getting their self-love back by just making these adjustments. And I know one of them was like, you know, I've been through a surgery already before. She's not even 25 yet. And she had surgery in one of her most sensitive areas. And she's like, I've never been talked to her about the, my eating habits. And she goes, and it's weird because I always told it, like in the back of my head, I always knew that's what it was, but I never acted on it. But we acted on surgery. We act on accepting the medication. And and this stuff isn't cheap. You know, I posted an update, I, I believe this past week, about how much my insurance has paid out to my son's medical care. And it's well over 130000 since 2018. And it's like, that's crazy. That is very crazy. But anyways, I just thought I'd throw it out there about, you know, these injections and prescriptions are temporary bandages. They're, they're not a solution. And it's it's hard to tell people to change something even if it's like for two to three days because it's like no no I don't want to do it I tried it I don't want to do it again but these are the same people who are back online asking for help advice and whatnot the next day when it's like oh well we off I offered you something that was going to be very useful to your life but you chose not to because I guess it wasn't a prescription. I guess I wasn't offering you a pill. I guess I wasn't offering you an injection. But hopefully those people will one day learn. I don't know. But to answer the other young lady's question. Um, you know what should we eliminate first? I'm going to say it's going to be lectins. And the most biggest one that's misused out of all of them is going to be gluten, which is wheat. You're going to find that in so many products that you should, that, that they shouldn't even be there, but it is. And that's going to help um, relieve you from pain, body aches, um, fatigue. And then from there, you can work on eliminating dairy. Um, if you look up uh, non-dairy uh, alternatives online, you're going to find a bunch of stores even online stores that offer you dairy pro non-dairy products that taste like dairy products. And that's the reason why I share so many food uh, recipes because 
a lot of these younger uh, teen, uh, you know, groups, and even some of my seniors, you know, they're like, oh my God, I never even knew that that was available. I'm like, oh yeah, you know, I do a lot of deep diving because my son enjoys food just as much as I do. And I know HS has robbed his health, but I want to be able to show my son that you can still eat all the food that you want. It's just going to be a little bit of a better, uh, there's, there's just going to be some tweaks to it. So that way your body can accept what you're eating and poop it out the way it's supposed to. Instead of it coming out of your neck, your underarms, your underbelly, your thighs. So again, if you want to reach out to me and do a one-on-one, -on -one, you're more than welcome to. I've had so many and I love them. I really truly do because I love seeing the reactions that I get back and I love seeing the updates that I receive. And it's it's very heartwarming for me because I see my son and he continues to show so much progress, so much progress. So I can just imagine what these kids go through and what they're doing out there because I see their videos and it's so <laughs> seeing their personality change is crazy. And it's one of it's very rewarding for me because that's exactly what I was I'm setting out to do is is change your life for the better. I don't want to hurt nobody, but I do want to show you that maybe it didn't, I know it didn't work the first time, but let's do it one more time. What do you got to lose? If anything, you're going to be saving and you're going to be finding some really good changes, some positive changes, some much needed changes. All right, guys, y'all have a rest of the good day and have a good one.